Comes out of there into the center ice zone by Sean Anderson. The Soviets get over the line. Peacock to Kaminsky. What a stop. Salapukin pokes at the rebound. Gucci blocked it right at the goal line. Galeno jostling, and we get our first little bit of a tussle in this series as they go back to that Buffalo net. They don't fool around, though. They get that pass across, Jiggs. He was just trying to fire it right by Cloutier, but like you mentioned, the anticipation of Cloutier made the save. He gets up again, and he sort of keeps the puck and still on his knees. Here's the pass across and the quick one-timer, but look at Cloutier's left pad makes the save. Back it goes to the piece off to Makara. Finds some room at the side of the net. Larionov centers, and they score! Igor Larionov setting up the play, and the power play works for the Soviets as Nemchev added to this line gets the power play goal. But it was textbook passing, and one thing with the Soviets, they had the other defenseman who was the bothering Klutzia. He comes in on the other side, and there's Fatisov. He's got. He, he's not going to make a mistake. He passes it to Makarov, and watch Larionov right in front of the net now. He'll just redirect this one, and you see the, the other defenseman just on the left-hand side nearly came in, and he had two selections to pass that puck, yet he put it right where he wanted in the goal crease, deflected in. The puck goes back to Bodger for a shot. Galashevov to save the rebound is batted in. Mike Foligno. Shot here from Bodger. He let it go right off the faceoff. Now he can't handle it. Watch Foligno just come in and just sort of tap it and actually hit it out of the air. And this game is tied on a good shot by Bodger, a good goal by Foligno. A rare move. Johansson moves it into center right. Shepard across the save the line. Shepard put it off to the goaltender's right side. It comes back. Held in by the Sabres. Shepard from back of the net. Trying to stop one in. Got another opportunity. And the Sabres with a second chance. Galashima diving around in front of the net. Buffalo scores! The good shots here. Scott Metcalf gets a good shot on the turnaround. And finally, the goal, the goaltender makes the save. But you see he goes down and, and the puck comes around in front here. Watch the goalie now. He goes down. Shepard tried to jam it from the back, but Metcalf does a turnaround. He makes this save and doesn't get up. He gets down and finally Hogue will come in. He's down. He slides it. That puck just trickles in. Roger knocks it out of the air at the blue line. Plays it in to five and he just could not get a stick on it. Anikov and five go to the corner. The puck comes back to Housley. Across to Botcher. And along the boards to Rutu. Five parked on one side of the net, Dirge on the other. This is five out of front. He scores! Right in the top corner, right over the goalie, a great goal, 3 1 Buffalo. And now, Arianov gets it again, is taken off the puck, however. And it's played right up the boards and on into the center rights area. Right to Galashevov and back in! A short handed goal! The puck bounces off of him by Galashimov, and it's four to one. What a careless play, though, by the goaltender. I often wonder if they make goaltending changes, but this is an amazing goal, a short-handed goal for Lindy Ruff. There's the puck trickling down, and Fatisov's the defenseman trying to get back, and finally the goalie plays it and hits Ruff and goes in and makes it 4-1. So the Sabres have really come alive here. They scored three goals in four minutes, and here's another angle on it. Fatisov sort of nonchalant a little bit, but the goaltender making a dreadful play to put the Sabres up by three. Boy, it's amazing. There's, you know, this turnover. Here's Housley. He can't handle it. Finally, the puck trickles by Cloutier, but just goes by the post about six inches. Also call. Shot hit Ramsey. Now loose in front. They score. Kernick moving in, and it's four to two. Ramsey shaken up after the shot had hit him. The puck came loose, and the Soviets seized the opportunity. Talk about the turnovers about 10 seconds ago, and you saw that shot as Ramsey getting a little careless. But boy, the Soviets struck fast here. The puck seemed to have eyes, and I think it, you'll watch it come by here. They should have had it out. Arneel's against the boards. Ramsey goes down, possibly, to handle it. He does it. And here it comes right here, boy, right in the top corner. Now the Soviets move out of their own zone. Makarov down the right side, or Nemchinov, rather. His pass to Makarov went behind him. Nemchinov with it again. Bumped in the corner. The Soviets get the puck again. Makarov backhanded one. It's back in. Tipped off the stick of Kasatonov, I believe, who was crossing. 
through in front, and all of a sudden, it's only a one-goal lead for the Buffalo Sabres. The Emchinov in the corner showed great strength, but a great play by Makarov as he waited and waited, and this is the thing we talked about, defenseman moving in. Number six, Gassetonov comes right in here. He doesn't stop it, he can't. He just deflects it right by the surprise Cloutier. Kutisov, like those short passes, that one was blocked. Now Kamjenski unloads, and Housley blocked it in front. Kutisov shot one off the side of the net. Housley takes it away from Hobotov and shot it off his own goal. Housley gets double teamed, the Soviet center, and they tied it up. Out in front quickly to Vikov, and it's 4-4. Well, the Soviets come out smoking in this second period, and we saw it in the end chop make a good play along the boards earlier, but Fetisov made this rush, nearly scored. Housley couldn't handle the puck. Here's Fetisov, and the puck will come back to him as he's going to a line change. He sort of slides over here. He just throws it at the, at the goal. It misses the net. Housley's trying to handle it, and finally, Bikov, number 19, is in front all alone, and he roofs this shot. Boy, right in the top corner. And 109 in just 42 games. Wow. Kamiansky gets the puck back to starting. Uh, Ramsey ran into him, set him flying. Soviets keep it into a Buffalo zone, however. There he off, sets up back of the net. There he off, centered one, it's tipped. Under Pupa, comes right back into the pads, and play is called. I think it was Kam Kamiensky was there, and his stick was on the ice, and here's Larianov, he tips it, and Pupa makes the save, doesn't know where it is, it's able to be scrambled under him, but that's what the Soviets do so well. They decoy and decoy and decoy, but that, that forward, Kamiensky, should not be allowed to stand there that long, otherwise he's gonna tip one in like he did. Coming up is Kasatona. Over the line, Mikov played it to Kamiensky, took the pass at his gates. Larry Kamnetsky comes off the boards, needs the blue line to Casatona. Kuzarov for the shot, kicked out by Pupa, and the rebound is slapped down the ice by Lindy Ruff. 30 seconds to go in Parker's interference penalty. Casatona taking the puck, throws it into center ice. Hickok went to the left side, here's Homatov handling it down. Homatov drops it back, Casatona for the shot, he scores! Power play goal by the defenseman, Alexei Casatona. Second of the game, he scored late in the first period. As he moved in, he showed a rocket for a shot. He got in the slot area. It was a Soviet on the other side that knocked down a defenseman. I think it was Kamiensky on the other side. But watch this here, right on the left side. We just missed it. But here's the shot coming in from number six. He's down in the slot area, and they curl around, and finally the pass comes across. It was Biakin that threw it back, I think, and Kasatonov. Not much Housky and Bodger can do, and he just blows it by Pupa in the top corner. 5-4 Soviets. Yemchinov to Makarov, back to Malakov. Carries it to center, Shepard knocked it off the stick. There he gets loose, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And he scores! Boy, Malakov, he lost it. Here's Shepard now, the goal scorer comes in. He's thinking, take him out, and he did. Goes to his forehand, throws it under him. Rutu gets to him immediately. The puck goes off five to Rutu. Turns at the Soviet line. He's picked up on the play now as he goes to the corner. Cause Chikin all over him. Rutu managed to center it. Play fair. Got it onto the stick of Arneel. It's shot off the shoulder of Milnikov. Loose puck and backhand one off the side of the net. The T-Saw dumps it around behind the goal. There will be a penalty for holding. He's the decoy, but Scott Arneal, number nine, he gets this shot. He puts it high and hits the shoulder of the goaltender, and finally the penalty for Nemchiov. It's called at 6.41 of this third period. And trying to flip it up, Malakov knocked it down, and Housley rushes the puck. The Soviets get two men back. Housley over the line, cuts in, went to the forehand, and chipped it just wide. Now centers, Presley scores! Priestley! Defeats the Central Red Army in overtime, 6-5. to five. It's only the second loss for the Soviets in this series, and look at the celebration going on at War Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo. Ken Sater being congratulated by Alan Eagleson. There's a scene so similar to 1972. How many of us remember the goal scored by Paul Henderson in the Soviet Union, and now here in Buffalo. On the 9th of January, 1989, the 
Sabres scored in overtime, and the rookie just called up from Rochester, Priestley gets the goal, and the National Hockey League will win the Friendship Cup. Let's take another look at it. Here's the way the play developed in the Soviet end of the ice, all of a sudden, or I should say in the Buffalo end of the ice, all of a sudden they move in on the right side. This is Housley. Trying to go to the forehand, missed. And he's able to play the puck back. It comes right out in front of Priestley. Hit Priestley. Hits the goal. Two minutes and 20 seconds into sudden death overtime. You see the handshake? 